Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video on the uh, Blue ZX which is uh, part of the reason why I've done this channel to show you all what I'm up to and thank you for all your support and kind words on my videos. Um, so what are we up to today? We are going to be replacing the uh, lower wishbone ball joints. This one is split. I uh, don't know if you'll be able to see that or not but it is just split just around there somewhere and um, the other one this is the passenger side one the driver's side one is looking worse for wear as well so i've got it all apart i'm going to replace them um we've also got all the old bolts for that and then we've got a nice shiny brand new one to go in this nice shiny brand new one came with nope there came with all brand new bolts in a packet ready to go in we also have, when we've done the wheel bearings in one of my previous videos, we also got brand new drive shaft bolts and a brand new split pin to put on. So we've got that for each side as well. They will be going on today as well. And then also I've got uh, pinch bolts, which are looking worse for wear, slightly rounded on the nuts, a bit tricky to get off. I've got brand new bolts as pinch bolts as well. Um, Basically, I've got a place near myself which is called Westgate Fastenings. If you're in Great Yarmouth area, you'll know what I'm on about. You literally take anything to them, bolt related, nut related, and they'll be able to find it and match it to the length. The amount of threads, the, the course, they're, they're fantastic every time I've been there. But anyway, so I've got two of them as new pinch bolts. These are high tensile as well, so just in case anyone's worried about the strength aspect I've gone for the strongest ones I did talk to them about what they're going to be used for and then they know what they know their stuff more than I do as far as I'm concerned that's just a bolt but anyway um, let's get started shall we so guys as you can see I've got my little helper as always never too far away but then also the other contrast is she's um, kind of in the shade under there but we've got the ball joint just pop that in there like so Don't worry, Shiva, you can stay there. Three bolts. Three nice new nuts. Just wind them on by hand first. Okay. Right, so that's all nice and tight now. Now we've got to put the drive shaft in. Shiva, hello. She's definitely comfortable here, guys. Right, anyway, back to car stuff. You don't come until we see me stroke a cat. This end of the drive shaft goes into the gearbox, but I've just got to be a bit careful because I've got a brand new seal on there, I don't want to bust that. This should just push straight into location and slot in nicely. And then we've then got the other end, which is that one, which will go into the new bearing we put on in a previous video. So let's just get this up in there. Nice and gently first. And then one, two, three, and in. Should hear that nice click like you probably did on the camera, or I hope you did. And um, now we literally just pull this round. Right, so now that's in there, we're just gonna put the uh, Drive shaft nut on, the nice new one. Wind that on by hand. That'll save that popping out or coming loose. We'll worry about tightening that up in a little while. Push down on the wishbone to line up the bottom pin. And that should now be suitable enough. Oh, by the way, then bolts in the ball joint are all 17mm bolts and 17mm nuts this new bolt is a 17mm head and a 17mm nut that'll just slot straight through there nicely done spin that round do the nut on the other side always by hand first
Right. And now we're on to this side where we put the steering arm in, which just slots straight up like so. Where's the nut gone? Really? Oh, it's there. And that was a mate of mine, Bibbins, to say hi, but now I found the nut, it's a case of that can go on there. It's a 17 mil, and we'll just see if we can wind that on. So yep, that's nicely done. I don't know how well you can see this, but this is a 35 millimeter drive shaft nut. I've got the pin here to um, put in, and um, we've got our tire wrench or wheel brace here. One locking wheel, one of the wheel nuts in to stop that from moving, so I can actually use this. And bit, literally, all I'm going to do with this is tighten it up as tight as I can. No, I'm not. So as you'll be able to see guys, I did in, in the end use my original uh, drive shaft bolt and a normal split pin that I've wrapped all way round. That ain't going to go anywhere. And um, that's pretty much done. So that's the end of the video here now then, um, we're going to call this video done, thank you for watching and I'll say goodbye now, but just before I do go, don't forget there'll be another amazing video up in this top corner and if you are not subscribed already, please consider subscribing, my subscribe icon is down here in the bottom corner and um, so yeah, take care guys, bye for now.